Hi, John Ferguson Smart here from Wakalia Consulting in what is the first of a series of bite-sized tutorials on writing automated web tests with Serenity BDD. In this tutorial, we'll be writing a very simple regression test which checks basic site navigation. I want to show you how to set up a project in Serenity and a few ways of doing these checks, a few tricks to make the test run faster and to make the reporting more informative. So let's have a look at the, te the site we're going to be testing. We're going to have a look at the ebay.com site and we're going to test these navigation elements here. So if I click on motors, I want to go to the motors page. If I click on fashion, I want to go to the fashion page. So a really simple test to get the ball rolling. The first thing we're going to do is, is to create an empty Serenity project using the Maven archetype. I've opened up the console window and I'm going to use the Maven archetype generate command with the Serenity filter to list all of the available Serenity archetypes. Here I've got a few of them available. I've got some for Cucumber, for JBehave, for JUnit, and for Screenplay. We're going to choose number four because we're going to be having a look at Screenplay as well. Now we'll just use the latest one and I'm going to give it a relatively arbitrary uh, group name. It doesn't really matter. You can put whatever you want here. The Serenity PVD Tutorials. And I'm going to call this very imaginatively tutorial number one. And then this will create our skeleton project. I've imported this project into IntelliJ. You can also import it into Eclipse if you prefer. When we open this project, we can see that it has a POM file if you prefer using Maven, or a build.gradle file if you prefer Gradle. Other than that, it's a fairly simple uh, Java project. We have the source test Java directory, and in here we have our tests and all the classes that our tests need. Now the first thing I'm going to do is create a package. I'm going to create a package called features.navigation. The features package is where all my high level functional tests go. And I have a package for each functional area or each capability. And in this case, I'm going to be talking about navigation. So I'm testing the navigation bars. So our first test is simply going to go to the home page of the eBay site and check that we can click on these navigation elements and go to the correct pages. Let's see then what that would look like as a JUnit test. Let's create a test class that's going to contain all of these tests around the navigation on the home page. So first thing I do is create a new job class called when browsing product categories. I like to keep the names of my tests very descriptive and the names of my test classes broad enough to give the context of what the tests are about. My first test is going to be about browsing the motors category. So we want to basically check that when we click on motors, we'll go to this motors page. So I've just created my first test called should be able to navigate to the motors category. Now you might believe that your test should tell a story. And to tell a story, I like to have actors or persona in the story to explain how the application is going to be used. In this case, we might have Mark who likes motor vehicles. We might start our test by saying that Mark is on the home page. And when Mark wants to navigate to the motors category, then what should the outcome we expect be? The outcome should be that Mark should see a page title that contains new and used cards. Here we have the skeleton of our test. This is where we start and this is where we fan out to implement the details of our Serenity test. The first thing to do is to figure out who Mark is. Now Mark is a persona, but he's a special kind of persona. He's, a, he's the person who's navigating through the site and doing things. Let's, give, let's call him a navigating user. Now, this, is, this class is a steps library because it has a number of steps that the, navig that the user goes through to perform his test. So we're going to annotate this with the steps annotation. Now this will inject an object into the test that we can use to, navig to 
perform the individual steps or actions that we need to take to carry out the test. This class is a normal Java class. We're going to create its very own package called the steps package. Now we're going to add the class here. So now we have our navigating user. We can fill in the blanks. We can create methods for each of the uh, steps that we have here. We'll do these two first, first because they're the easiest. So should see page containing an expected title. We'll fill these in later on, but for now, let's just see how the mechanics work. And then this last one, we're really navigating to a particular category. So I'd like this to be an enum. And I'd like to create this in a package that I'm going to call model because it's the domain model for our test. So I'm going to create our create an enum in the model package. And now I'm going to create the enum constant for model. And now I can go ahead and create my method. So the last thing we need to do is to tell Serenity that these are steps that will be reported on in the test. So I'm going to put the step annotation on each of these. The last thing I need to do is to tell JUnit that this is a Serenity test. So we say run with Serenity, the Serenity runner. This is a web test, so we're going to need to give Serenity a WebDriver instance. We do this by creating an instance of the WebDriver class. We can call it anything we want inside the test class, and we annotate it with the managed annotation. This will inject the driver into the test and into the page objects wherever we need it. So we don't have to worry about setting up the driver, opening the web page, closing it at the end of the test, and so forth. Now we're all set for our web test. So now I want to implement this test. The first thing I want to do is to open the eBay homepage. What I'd like to do is something like on the eBay homepage, I'd like just to open it. Now this means I need an eBay homepage. So I'm going to say eBay homepage declare this as a page object and I'm going to create this class in the UI package because that's a logical place for them and this eBay homepage is going to be a very simple Serenity page object. Now the Serenity page objects are a very convenient way to use WebDriver, the WebDriver API. They provide most of the WebDriver API uh, capabilities and a few more with uh, some nice wrapper methods to make it easier and, and faster to write code around WebDriver. The other thing we want to do here is that since we're opening it, opening the page, we define a default URL. Now the default URL is the URL that will be used when we call uh, the open method. We can override this in uh, uh, using a command line property where we might pass in uh, the property uh, webdriver.base.url and that can actually override the default URL. This is used when we're testing different sites or different platforms uh, on a build server, for example. But for the moment, we're just going to define ebay.com as our default URL and then that's all we need to do for this. Now, the second thing we need to do is to check what the outcomes are. Now, what I'd really like to do is to say on the current page, whatever that page may be, I want to get the title for it. And I want to say something like, assert that the current page title is equal to something. So I'm going to use the assert J library, which is a little bit like home press, a little bit easier to use in some cases. And I'm going to say current page get title is equal to the expected title. Now let's see where this current page comes from. I'm going to define another page object, current page. 
Now I'm going to create this. This really is very much a placeholder class. It doesn't really do a lot. All it does is returns a, an instance of page object that represents the current page that we're on. And that enables us to do things like current page get title. And we can do is equal to, we can also do things like is equal to ignoring case, contains ignoring case. Let's say contains ignoring case so that our tests remain uh, robust and flexible. The next thing I want to do is to implement navigates to category. So let's see how we go about that. The so navigates to category method takes a category object, which is an enum, and what we want it to do is to click on that navigation bar that we saw earlier on across the top of the eBay page. We can see it here. So what we'd like to do is be able to represent this navigation bar and have that as its own independent object. We don't, I tend not to have page objects that represent entire pages, but rather page objects which represent small parts of the pages. It tends to make the web test a lot more flexible and a lot more robust. So we might have something like category navigation bar select category for category. And now category navigation bar, let's create an object here. Category category navigation bar and we will need to create this class so this is going to be in the UI package and just like all of the other page objects or page components to be more precise it will extend the page object class and now we have our select category method now the aim of this method will be to click on the right element in that category bar. Having a look at this category bar, let's see what the element actually looks like. So we're going to go into it. We're going to see that it's an anchor of some kind. It's inside a presentation table, a navigation, a T body with a navigation role, then a TR with a list role. So what we might be able to do is something like role equals navigation. So that will get us to the first a that will get us a number of lists. We need to be a little bit more precise. So we would want to go down and look for something with a role of list. Let's see what happens if we do that. Well list and this will return us a single item which is one one so this is the expression we want to use so I can copy that and I can actually paste it directly into serenity and serenity here will do a find basically it's doing a, a web driver find by XPath or CSS selector uh, and will return us a web element so from here we can do our get text, uh, we can do other finds, we can do contain elements and so forth. What I'm going to do here next is once we're in the menu bar, I want to go find by link text and we need to get the link text from the category. Now we could do the simple way would be to do category name, but and that will work for the moment, but later on we may want to make this a little bit more flexible so that we can cope with more complicated names containing spaces and so forth. But for the moment, let's just see if this works. So once we have the web element, all we need to do is click on it and we should be able to navigate to the next page. So now we can go to our web test and we can run it in exactly the same way as we'd run any other unit tests. We can see here I've run the test, it's starting up the browser, it's brought the browser up, it's stepping through the pages, so we can see it opening the home page and looking for the motors link, it's going to click on the motors link and go to the motors page. And so we have a passing test. 
Now, if we want to have a look at the reports, we can open Target, Site, Serenity, and have a look in this directory. Within this directory, there will be some HTMLs. We'll have a look at later on at how to generate an aggregate report for all of our test reports. But if you just want a single test report, just look at the latest HTML file. You can see it's got a hashtag, which is a hashtag of the name of the test. We can open this report and we can see the uh, Serenity report for this test run appearing here. So we have the name of the test here, the steps that the test carried out to verify, to check this particular bit of functionality, and the screenshots to show that we opened on the home page and went to the notice page. So that's the essential structure of a simple Serenity test using the step library. In the next tutorial, we'll have a look at an alternative way of doing this using the screenplay pattern, which is a more scalable uh, and more readable approach in many regards, though it does require a little bit more knowledge as far as Java and object-oriented programming. So stay tuned until next time when we'll have a look at that approach. I think you'll find it very interesting. So we'll see you then. You can find the source code for all of these tutorials on GitHub at the URL shown here. And if you think you could benefit from some more focused help in your Serenity BDD testing efforts, do check out our remote mentoring packages on the URLs at johnfergusonsmart.com. This is John Ferguson Smart signing out. Until next time.